Hi, this is Zandra with Two Fly Chicks. I hope that you all have had the most amazing morning. So today, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to be talking again about our sea moss. Yep, you heard it, our sea moss. But today, what we're going to do, we're going to make applesauce. Yay! Applesauce. So, before we get into it, I want you to know I do have my sea moss, but this time we're going to use sea moss that has been infused with aloe and also blueberries. It smells amazing. Smell. Can you smell it? Can't? Oh, okay. Anyway, so. Uh, I'm going to use this in my applesauce, and I already have my apples. And today, we're going to use Fuji apples along with Granny Smith apples. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about sea moss. You already know that there are plenty of benefits for it. Um, they're going to give you the minerals that you need, all the vitamins that you need. That's going to help with your digestive system. It's going to help with... Um, different ailments, diabetes, ED, high blood pressure, all of those things, colds, it's going to help with your immune system. Sea moss is excellent, an excellent, excellent resource to have. There's so many other benefits to it. I just touched on a few of them. And aloe, if anyone knows anything about aloe, aloe is good internally as well as externally. All right, so if you have a burn, grab aloe. If you have digestive issues, grab aloe. Um, any type of ailment, aloe does the trick. It helps to settle, it helps to cure, and then there's just beautiful plants. I have a huge aloe plant um, that yeah, I've been growing. It was dying, I actually had to do some research and I brought it back to life, so it is beautiful. It is consistently and continuously growing. So anyway, we're gonna get into our applesauce. Um, and I may, because we have blueberries in the actual sea moss, I may put some fresh blueberries in. So I have my water going because I'm going to cook my apples a little bit so they won't be hard and it'll be soft. So when I start to mix the apples in um, my blender along with my sea moss and possibly I'm thinking I'm going to blueberries, then it's gonna end up being a wonderful, wonderful texture. So sit back and relax and I want you all to join me as I make sea moss applesauce with blueberries so while our apples are on the stove and they are cooking i thought what a better opportunity or better uh, chance so i can hang out with you guys and talk to you all about why i chose blueberries and aloe to go with our sea moss to make our applesauce today well blueberries blueberries are low in calories which is excellent. We all look at, you know, the calories that we intake and we wanna make sure that we can get something that's very fulfilling, but not pack a lot of calories. Where blueberries is wine fruit that does not have a lot of calories in it, which is excellent. Also, it is the king of antioxidants. So you really get a lot of antioxidants and those are the things that you look for. And so blueberry is at the top of that list. So that's a huge, huge benefit of blueberries. Also, blueberries help with anti-aging. Me being in my latter 40s, I want to make sure that I look as young as possible, as long as possible. And so eating blueberries will help with that. It's going to assist with the anti-aging. And also, it is great for people who have high cholesterol issues. I know you think of Cheerios, and I do too, and it's heart healthy. But blueberries, you can add them to your cereal. You can add it to a smoothie, yogurt. Whatever it is, blueberries serve as a great aid when it comes to high cholesterol. And it also is known to help promote healthy blood pressure. Blood pressure. So people who suffer from high blood pressure, blueberries 
whether you want to juice it and make a blueberry juice whether again yogurt smoothies only cereal blueberry jam all those things blueberries excellent so that's why i chose blueberries and so and why did i choose aloe again i said earlier aloe is great externally and internally and because we're making applesauce i'm going to focus on the internal use of aloe if you have any type of digestive issues any type you really want to use aloe you can use aloe the gel from the plant if you want to or you know because or you can get the aloe juice for us we chose the aloe gel because it still has some of the pulp or the meat in in it and so the consistency of it is better and then you're getting that pure um, aloe where it's not broken down so anybody with any type of digestive issues crohn's disease irritable bowel syndrome um constipation anything like that your excessive diarrhea, anything like that, any issues, any stomach issues, aloe is a great source that you can use or resource that you can use um, to help assist with that. So that's why I really chose aloe along with the blueberries to go in our sea moss. So, I'm gonna check on our apples. Um, I think they're ready because, you know, again, I don't want them too soft, but I don't want them too firm. So I'm gonna check on them and I'll be back so we can make applesauce. So my apples are ready. And so I'm gonna let you look at them. So they changed, so they're, they're soft. They're soft, but not too soft. And I decided to go ahead and get my blueberries out of the refrigerator so we can do that. So I have my blender. So the blender that I have is a Montel blender. And so it, if it's something that's warm, it's gonna keep it warm. So I can make soups in this blender. I can make smoothies, I, all of those things. And it's heavy duty. So uh, you wanna get you a good blender, but um, even when you're making your applesauce, but if you cook your apples enough, I just personally don't like uh, my apples to be super hard. I mean, super soft, okay? But, so for me, I like that semi um, softness. But if you if you don't have a heavy duty blender or uh, even like an industrial blender, then you might wanna let your apples get a little softer. So what I'm gonna do is to go ahead and put my apples in the blender well you know what let me backtrack i'm actually gonna kind of cut them in half okay so grab me a knife from back y'all grab me a knife and i'm gonna cut them and again i'm keeping the seeds everything the only little part that i take out gosh that's hot the only little part that i take off let me grab my cutting board Okay, so the only little part that I cut off is just this part right there. Other than that, I'm gonna keep it, keep everything. And so I'm gonna cut my, my apples into fours. And again, I'm keeping the seeds. My my boys love, 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 love when I make them homemade applesauce. It's so much better for you. If I had known the things that I know now, when they were like super young, I promise you I would have made all of their food. Um, they like when I make soup. They like when I puree vegetables, um, all those things. Because now we're doing that. We're trying to take a more healthy approach to life, to living. And I know a lot of people say, well, you know, um, you're still like a plus size girl. Yeah, I am, but as far as my health is concerned, you know, uh, it's getting better. And so the, there's other issues that um, I am working 
totally on to make sure that everything is going to work in, in sync with each other, okay? So, size sometimes does not equate unhealthy living for those plus size girls out there and guys who um, suffer from, you know, those things, weight issues. I am working on something that's going to be healthy for you, okay? So, I am almost finished. It's my last one. It's all in the blender. I'm going to take some blueberries. I don't even know how many blueberries. Let's just pour. So, I'll probably put like a cup of blueberries in. And then with the sea moss this time, um, because I'm making quite a few, people know that with sea moss, it really, it doesn't take a lot of sea moss uh, a day. You could just put it in your smoothies, um, just maybe like a tablespoon of sea moss. But this time I'm gonna put, oh, it's so soft, I like that. Um, it's not uh, really hard to scoop. Let's see. So I, this is the second one that I've used. Oh gosh, it smells so good. So I have two of those in my blender. I'm gonna let you see what it looks like. Okay. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blend this and then I'll come back so you all can see what the end results are gonna look like. I'm excited. All right. So I have my applesauce made. Get my hair out of the way. That's gross. And so here it is. And you can see the specks of blueberry in it. I wanted that. So I'm going to pour it up. I have my bowl. I'm going to pour it up. Okay. So we got some little remnants. So I'm going to taste this. And so right now you see, I don't know if you can see the little uh, heat still rising from the blender. Yeah. So anyway, so um, it's still warm, but I have some on the spoon. Let me see. Can you see it? You know, yeah, you can. Uh, mm. That is good. That is real good. And so, I didn't add any sugar to it um, because of the apples that I used, the Fuji apples and then the Granny Smith apples. So, they pair really well together. I have some on my... Oh, I have it on my tongue. Anyway, so here you are, applesauce with your sea moss. So, what better way to get that burst of energy that you need in the morning, grab you some applesauce. And I don't know, I may put them in little small containers. And so the boys and, you know, whoever else, huh, can um, grab some applesauce in the morning or for a snack. For me, sometimes I like to get in the bed and I like to read and I want a snack. And so I usually grab fruit, but why not grab the sea moss, you know, this applesauce. Mm, that's good. I don't have to add anything else to it. Nothing at all. So I'm going to finish the little remnants that's left down in the bottom. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. All right, you all. If you love this video, please give us a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to Two Fly Chicks on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. And most importantly, shop Two Fly Chicks. This will be available, not the applesauce, but the sea moss, the blueberry sea moss will be available. It's ready now. We do make to order. So if you would like uh, to order some sea moss, visit our website, www.twoflychicks.com. All right, y'all, I'm finna enjoy this. Love and peace.